previously known as the Passport Elite 29DB, DS, one of those, I believe it's DB. Uh, the Elite Series and the Grand Touring Series of Passports were effectively merged. And what we have now is the new Passport 2950 Bunkhouse GT Series here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, this layout was first popularized by the Cougar 29 BHS that we also carry here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And you're going to find uh, roughly three to $4,000 difference between them. It's a bunch of small things that'll make up for that. However, everything that's really critical, really important, it's still here and at a lighter weight, a lighter price tag, and a dynamite facelift inside and out. These guys have absolutely upped their game. Now, with the slide out closed right when you walk in the door here, you have this big closet or pantry because what is kind of cool is these are adjustable shelves, so you can really kind of convert this to whatever needs you have. But if you take note, the countertop and the dinette, they get awful close to one another. Now, if you move that dining table, if you store it somewhere else in transit, you could do a long leg step over and you could get back to the kitchen and the uh, fridge and everything. But you don't really have to, thanks to that second entry door. Because if we pop around the other side here, you see that you've got more than enough room to get to everything over here. You can get to the storage, because there's storage behind the TV, above the TV, this big eight cubic foot fridge freezer, the remainder of the uh, kitchen cabinetry space, um, the uh, one of the two sides of the dinette storage down there. You can get to pretty much everything. This is a an extremely travel and pack em up friendly RV. And it's one of the reasons why the Cougar version of this has long been on my personal short list of personal favorites. Now more than just the name has changed on these, nearly every visible surface has been updated, upgraded, addressed, touched, dressed and pressed here. This is a whole new generation of Passport. Um, it still has the like giant slide out windows here for just tons of light and tons of sights and airflow. But notice we're picking up, uh, compared to the previous GT generation, the slide side breeze through windows as well. So that's something that they've done here to help increase the airflow. Now it really kind of ties into the kitchen because above the kitchen you see that skylight right there. Well that's also a vent. So if you're trying to really get rid of a lot of heat from cooking inside, even though this does have the miniature outside kitchen we'll see in a bit, uh, you can really do uh, just a heck of a number on this thing here. So we saw that closet by the door right when we walk in. And, uh, you know, we've got our, our, our big full super slide because you've got a full 42 inch deep by roughly seven foot long u dinette over here next to a, uh, a big plush trifold high to bed sleeper sofa. So in conjunction with the bunks that we have back here, you can sleep just about everybody and their brother in here. So starting up top with this one, if you take a look, you can see that we've got the, uh, you know, double over double bunk configuration that you've come to expect from most uh, corner bunks nowadays. Nothing too crazy, uncommon, unusual there. But as we get down below, you notice that you've got this whole flip up cargo garage back here. By not putting the bunks on the door side and sharing space with an outside kitchen, they have the ability here, just again, uh, like the Cougar 29 BHS that we have, to put a, this is a full bicycle garage. This is not a situation where, uh, you know, you have just like, oh, some neat extra cargo space. That thing opens up into a huge area, but what I think is cool is not just for, for bikes or for chairs or for grills when you're flying down the road, but in a way, it kind of expands your living space because if you've got littles, I know that when, when I was a little guy camping, if it was raining outside, I was stuck inside all day, you could have put me down in there, I could have dumped out a bucket of Legos, and I could have gone just nuts all day building Legos in my own personal fort. You know how kids like to play fort? Look at this. Plus with your individual privacy curtains, because notice that they separated the privacy curtains from top to bottom, which is genius, by the way, so the kids aren't fighting over the curtain the whole time. You can tell by the tone of my voice that I've been a dad in a camper where the kids are fighting over the curtains and I'm just trying to relax, but whew, anyway, you get the idea. That's why I often call a private bunkhouse mom and dad sanity room, but that's my point. That's a lot of what we're getting here. So it's not just sleeping space, it's also living space, but this thing, once again, if you fold everything down, can just sleep a ton of people. So we start with a big u dinette that could sleep, you know, one adult, two kids, a full trifold sleeper sofa, which I can personally attest can fit both my wife and myself, 
and then the two double double bunks. We've got eight sleeping here plus two in the master bedroom. You can fit up to 10 people in this thing and just sleep a truckload of people. It is excellent that way. It's something half ton total that can sleep 10. That's tough to find. Not a, you can't get that every day. Now on top of sleeping the entire extended family, this Passport has a couple neat little icing features on it. You'll find one switch will activate, or deactivate as it were, what I call air traffic controller lighting next to the entry door and here in the bathroom. And what's kind of cool about that is uh, being right next to the door, it, it allows you to keep the lights turned off in the RV when you're outside or at night, but still be able to like see the door, see the countertop, be able to navigate. Now, remember that the GT and the Elite, the previous Grand Touring and Elite, were kind of mashed into the new Grand Touring that we're looking at now. So they all have this big vaulted ceiling. In conjunction with the placement of that skylight, this is a very tall, person-friendly shower. And of course, we do have that uh, um, deadbolt on the door there to always maintain bathroom privacy. It's a simple, smart, effective bathroom. It does what it needs to. It doesn't do any more than it has to. But what more do you want out of a bathroom? Something else this does well is not just, you know, nighttime use, not just um, sleeping everyone, but entertainment. You see that big, plushy, comfy sofa that opens up into that hide bed Directly across from it is that very generously sized HD TV. So you've got a easy, direct facing entertainment center. But what's kind of cool is that's a little bit of what I call a pantry tainment center, where that TV actually acts as something of a door to some bonus storage behind it. So, first of all, when the TV pivots out like this, it puts it at a direct viewing angle for the rear bunk area, and that is actually really smart, uh, because anyone who's ever camped with kids knows at the end of the night, you gotta try to wind these guys down. We're, we're out camping, we're jacked up on marshmallows, we're having a good time, we're drinking Kool-Aid, and we are just, <laughs> the kids are buzzing, right? Well, you throw a movie in, and you get them to stop moving, and start just breathing and they start to settle down. So having the TV face those bunks like that is just the best thing ever that happened to mom and dad. Now, above the entertainment center, you see that we've got some very generous storage in here. And then we've got like a, a, a near floor to ceiling full uh, dedicated either linen cabinet, pantry, whatever have you, with what I call, again, the pantry tainment center hidden behind the TV. And it actually does wrap all the way around back there. You've got big storage. Now, this open shelf right here, this is for expanding your entertainment options. If uh, you choose to add a Blu-ray, a satellite, or whatever, things that not everyone wants to take camping, but maybe you do, they left you a great open space for it. But if we look down below, you see flat cabinets. Or, well, just flat paneling. You don't see cabinet doors. That's because under here is a mini outside kitchenette. So instead of crawling around on your hands and knees, they made that much, much easier to do something with outside. And in the meantime, we haven't even looked at all of the storage, and I think we're already doing better here than a lot of bunkhouses offer. And it's a combination of good storage, tons of sleeping, and easy living, like the big entertainment center that we saw that have made the Cougar 29 BHS very popular. And with this just being a less expensive, lighter weight version of it, with a little bit difference in the equipment package, for sure, um, you know, uh, that, that's what's going to make this successful, too. Now, uh, like the previous Passport Elite, like the new GT that we're in now, we have an 8 cubic foot fridge freezer. So we do have a bigger fridge. In addition to the bigger fridge here and the 2 cubic foot fridge in the outside kitchen we haven't seen, this RV has 10 cubic foot of cold storage. And it's nice to keep drinks outside and food inside. That is super, super handy. Now, down below, they revised their kitchenette. It's still the same shape but it's way more functional because instead of a drawer in a door, now we just have normal drawers that pull out. That is a nice improvement Passport made compared to the previous generation, and they are really listening to their customer base right now. They are firing on all eight cylinders, absolutely knocking out everything people said they wanted in one fell swoop, one big update. They really have crushed it. They gave people a place for a wastebasket that they didn't have before. They've improved the countertop total space by one, they already had a big countertop with this peninsula, but by going with the, the pressed membrane kitchen countertop that we see right here, they have uh, made it so that you can undermount a beautiful stainless farm sink. So you've got a bigger sink, it's recessed with a one piece uh, cover to give you uh, more counter space there, plus the tempered glass stovetop over here to give you even more prep space 
below that beautiful big cross breeze window. Now all of our cabinetry has hardwood cabinet doors and it is pocket screwed. This is a high quality brand, all aluminum skeleton. It is made light but smart. It is something that uh, has excellent service records and will take care of you. And that is something that we have seen uh, be true time and time again here at Halet RV. Passport has excellent, excellent service records. Now you see that we have doors for the storage on those bench ends so it's easy to get there. Uh, you don't have to take apart the cushions and the sofa or the dinette base and everything. It's it's not a problem. And as we walked in the door, we already took a look at the removable shelves in that sort of convertible closet pantry. But look at that beautiful split open bedroom privacy set of doors right there. Instead of a, uh, oh, like island entertainment center with a door on each side, they went with, really, if you've been in this RV industry or watched things for a while, that's like a classic Fleetwood RV design with these two doors that close toward the middle. But I love that they put these uh, insert panels on here, these uh, frosted glass insert panels, so that um, it just it kind of breaks up the color monotony of it. But you can see that just the, the slide open smooth nature of this. Now, I don't know if it showed up on camera well, but did you notice that light kick on when I got close to it? In the pass-through storage and by the main entry door, all your passports now, even in the SL series, have a motion sense light. You can turn it on, on, off, or on motion mode, like it is currently, so it'll only kick on when you need it. It's really nice, handy stuff. Um, now, our master bedroom up here, not only does it feel big and easy access with those split open doors, but we do have a full 60 by 80 residential queen in here. So we do have the longer queen bed, not a short camp queen. And a full overhead cabinet, as well as your longer hanging closets, make for a decent amount of bedroom storage. And of course, mom and dad, you could always absorb this or anything else. I mean, you own the camper, you absorb whatever you want. Now, um, both sides of the bed have big stands for super CPAP friendliness as well as household and USB plugs on both sides of the bed so that no matter where you're sitting, no matter where you're sleeping, like that's something I didn't talk about. Let's talk about all these plugs. So um, over here on the dinette, you just saw them on the side of the bed, but on the dinette, we've got tons of plugs to keep everybody charged up and happy on a rainy day. In each of the bunks, you will also have tons of plugs to keep everybody charged up so that when the weather is kind of crappy outside, you never have a crappy day inside a Passport. Not to be outdone by the interior, the exterior of the new Passport GTs is sharp, Batman. They really <laughs> dressed it up here to the tune of if you didn't, if they peeled the decals off, if it didn't say Passport compared to the previous generation, you'd be like, what new brand is this? I mean, they have almost completely reinvented themselves with one update generation. Um, the uh, new three-quarter cap with the uh, stone guard, the, the um, micro-quilted looking diamond guard below that looks absolutely fantastic. And what's crazy, it's not a front windshield, but man, does it have the look of it. And for a minute, it really took me a little while to kind of wrap my head around it. And then I realized, because the interior section in here is actually like an accent color to give it a sense of depth and scope and scale, it makes it look like it's moving when it's sitting still. And I love that they've gone a little more modern with the linear lines, it's, uh, as opposed to just being splatter painted with Nike Adidas swooshes. You know, it looks like there was some thought and some intention really put into this. It's got a great appearance. Now, we'll come back and talk about these, but the GTs now standard have the Moride stable steps on your main entry door, which is just slicker and snot. And the GTs now have an expanded pass-through compared to the previous generation. It's an, also an easy way to see the all-aluminum skeleton in here, and that is motion sense lighting right there uh, that we will also come back to when I have the uh, camper powered up. Now, uh, power awning, power tongue jack, that's just normal standard stuff. And I mentioned the service records. Uh, going along with that is the fact that Keystone has the industry's most comprehensive three-year structural warranty. They cover and back more things because they build and maintain more things themselves and outsource less. When you do something in-house, you control the cost of it and the quality, and there's no finger pointing. I hope you never need to utilize the three-year structural warranty, but if you do, there's no finger pointing. It's not Keystone saying, oh, well, we didn't build that. No, they're saying, you're right. We welded those walls. We'll take care of it. We painted that nose cap at Keystone. We'll take care of it. And that being said, I don't know that I've ever had 
a Keystone Passport, Cougar, Montana, anything with like a structural issue. They're just spot on at doing it. Now this whole thing rides on a little different chassis. You see that home plate looking uh, sticker down there that the, it indicates this has a Norco frame. Um, it's a huck bolted chassis. It is lighter but stronger. It's what's called a Z frame instead of an I beam. Um, I'm sure you can figure out why they have different names based on the shape of the actual <laughs> chassis beams. But the point here is that they spend a little bit more money on the chassis and that's what Passport's always been. It's a smart money camper. If what you're looking for is like, listen, we want something nice. We want something that's not going to give us a lot of fits, a lot of trouble. But we want something that will uh, last us a long time. Like we want to buy this camper and use it for 10 or 12 years until the kids are gone. Then we want to swap it out for that big Montana Cougar fifth wheel. This is absolutely a brand custom tailored to doing something like that. So tons of windows, all UV tinted, and they all open for airflow. So all those bunk windows, those slide windows, the slide side windows, everything opens right up here. Now this is something a little bit new that Keystone's come out with. It's called Key TV. Instead of having to mess around with antenna boosters, basically, there's a new system that Keystone has pioneered and put in their RVs, uh, obviously called Key TV, where it will basically auto sense the incoming signal source for the TV so that you don't have to mess around with antenna signal boosters or flipping switches or any of this nonsense. Now back here we saw it from the inside, but this is that bunk cargo door. Now just like like the bathroom entry door this has a deadbolt that's what this guy is right here so um, you know you can you have the same security here that you have with your main entry door or the bathroom door but again when you flip that bunk up out of the way man you actually have a place to throw your bicycles and stuff in here or big grills or folding chairs or folding picnic tables or anything guys so that you it's just one less thing that you have to worry about transporting now the, uh, let's see, what was I going to mention there? Oh, there's a little cold water sprayer port for just little quick cleanups located right here. And I love that it's located near the bathroom so that you can give the kid a, a quick hose down before they get in that shower and wash a lot of sand down your drain. And they nailed it with the position of this awning right here. Uh, it clearly covers both entry doors, and they put struts on those doors, so uh, even the front door can't swing open and smash the awning sideways, which is about one of the best ways to screw an awning up. Um, you know, you've got an easy come and go. If it's kind of a rainy, drizzly day, which it has been most of the morning, we're getting blessed with a few rays of sunshine right now, thankfully. But it doesn't matter. you got a great come and go flow because you can come in from the back, go in from the back, whatever works for you. Now, we do have this direct entry bathroom right here. And, of course, we do have a, uh, you know, dead bolting door so that we don't have to worry about people popping in and out on us while we are here doing our business and all of our glory for the neighbors to see us. You know, the kids in the bunk windows peeking through you can shut that door so that's not going to be the case necessarily but having both a toilet here as well as the little mini fridge on this little miniature outside kitchenette those are the two primary reasons um <laughs> we could call them the number one and number two reasons why people are in and out of the camper if you will <coughs> highbrow humor here guys um it cuts down on a ton of foot traffic and dirt through the rv is what i'm getting at through all the terrible dad jokes. Now, throw some people off that we have a black tank flush over here on this side of the camper. And the reason they do that is because of the toilets right here. So this is the quickest, shortest, most direct route for a black tank flush, which means it's going to do the best job possible. Now, if we take note over here, we flip these open, you can see that we also have outside TV hookups and some outlets. So if you do want to turn this into like a full-on tailgate entertainment station, you certainly can. This is something, again, this floor plan really based on the 29 BHS Cougar that we have here at Haylet RV, something I'm familiar with. And it was kind of funny because the Cougar team sort of stumbled into it by accident. Underneath the entertainment center, they suddenly went, wait a minute, we have just enough room for a miniature outside kitchen. And they said, you know what? Between skilled and lucky, we'll settle for luck, which is funny because I say something almost exactly like that all the time myself. So this is neat because it's really not wasted space. It, uh, instead of getting on your hands and knees inside, to get to cabinet space that you'd have to go armpit. It, it just wouldn't be user friendly is what I'm getting at. Now everything's at like waist level. Everything makes sense right here. I like where this is placed. Now the wide stance stability axles, as the name kind of implies, they're set wider and they add stability to the camper in towing. What this means in English is not a replacement for weight distribution and anti-sway. This is a supplement too. So this will help these things tow smoother with less bounce, less sway. And in a recent Passport video, I talked to a guy 
one of the uh, delivery drivers, a trailer almost exactly the size. I said, this is one of the best towing trailers I've been on. Aluminum wheels are optional. You're going to be hard pressed to find a stock in one without aluminum wheels here at Halet RV. I bet a lot of people wouldn't even realize those are not standard because they look so good. Be shocked if any dealer didn't bring them on. Now, if we take a look at the awning, you see that we do have full length LED lighting. And against this nice, clean white sidewall and white under awning, it will glow very nicely over here at night. Another thing on this white skin, ladies and gentlemen, um, it seems like these, you know, these color tone skin packages, the tans, the grays, the everything else, they are all the trend right now. And I think Passport is smart going back to a lighter skin because it will generate less heat when exposed to the sun. It will help keep you cooler, more comfortable. Now we've got on the main entry door, the larger folding handle, and these just growing in popularity despite their already immense popularity, uh, more ride stable steps right here with those adjustable foot pegs. So these things can always be kind of uh, custom contoured and tapered to your preferences and needs. Now we've got some power going on the camper currently. One of the things I failed to do previously was activate that little motion sense light down there. Now you notice I had to click it on. It has an on off and motion mode. So I've got it in motion mode right now, but again, we've got this huge pass-through storage area with all that aluminum skeleton work down in there to give us all kinds of space and storage. So you've got Mr. Jody over here doing the uh, excellent job of quality inspecting these as they arrive. As you can see, this is actually currently still hooked up to the RV delivery driver's truck. We proactively go through everything here at Halet RV. We don't charge extra hidden dealer fees for stuff like that. You will actually find our RVs are like thrice quality inspected before you take possession of them. Because we know you don't want to make a phone call with a problem any more than we want to take that phone call. We want you out there and we want you happy and we want you telling people how good of an experience you had. Not the work that you had to come back and have done. Maybe that's the difference between us here at Halet RV and quite a few places. I'm not saying all of them, I'm saying quite a few. So, we don't do hidden dealer fees, but we do everything else. Hitching pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and everything in between. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping everyone.